Welcome back. Now, former U.S. President and uh, presidential nominee Donald Trump, in fact, uh, uh, faced another assassination attempt. This after U.S. Secret Service agents opened fire after seeing a man with a firearm near Donald Trump's West Palm Beach uh, Golf Club in Florida while the Republican presidential candidate was golfing. Now, Trump is safe and no injuries have been reported, but officials say that the man was apprehended after fleeing in an SUV. Now, that's the latest we are tracking. The man has been arrested. He has also been identified. Let's uh, play out some reactions that have come in. The FBI has assumed the role as the lead federal law enforcement agency in the investigation of the incident that occurred earlier today at Trump International Golf Course here in West Palm Beach, Florida. We've deployed a number of resources, including the investigative teams, crisis response team members, bomb technicians, and evidence response team members as well. What we need right now is for the public to avoid the area around the golf course. We will continue to support this investigation with the full resources of the FBI, alongside our partners with the United States Secret Service and the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office, as well as Martin County Sheriff's Office and state and local law enforcement. We have stopped the vehicle that the FBI uh, the Secret Service and the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office asked all law enforcement to look for. We had the vehicle description and we had a tag number. We, we mobilized out on the interstate. Two of my uh, marked units picked up the vehicle. We followed it for a bit. We were able to contain it using some of our bigger vehicles that we use for specialized stops. We got the vehicle stopped. Uh, since then, the FBI and the Secret Service have... Shrinjoy Chaudhary joining us live as he tracks all the developments and also analyzes what will, will be the implications of the second assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Uh, Shrinjoy, in July, when the first assassination bid was made, it somehow made an impact in the larger discourse uh, in the American uh, U.S. presidential campaign. Uh, how are you looking at this latest assassination bid? Uh, what could be the fallout of this? The elections are only 50 days or so away. So if there is a sort of bump, as the Americans call it, uh, that could play a role. We don't know as yet because the polling will have to come in. It to be said that while Kamala Harris didn't get much of a bump after the Democratic National Convention, as happens normally in the past, now because of various reasons it isn't so, so much, but she did do well in the uh, debate with Trump, and after that, her lead has stretched a little bit from 1% to about 3% or so. Mm. So now comes this second assassination attempt. We'll have to see whether this has an impact on voters, because at this point, America being as divided as it is, mm. the Trump supporters will always be Trump supporters. Mm. The Democrats will not even imagine voting for Trump, leave right. alone anyone else. Mm. Now it's the independent voters mm. who, are in, uh, who are in doubt. And the question is, will it make an impact on the independent voters? Mm. That's something we'll have to look out for. Mm. Besides what it will do, even with the Trump voters, right. it will make sure mm. that every Trumpista right. actually goes to the booth. Mm. They would have in any case, you would imagine, right. but this gives them added incentive. Okay. So there will be some impact, even if it's uh, okay. temporary, but there will be some impact, All right. surely. All right. Thank you, Shrinjoy, for getting us the latest. But uh, viewers, a second assassination bid on... Uh, Donald Trump, that's going to dominate the discourse uh, in the U.S. and also will be watched very closely across the globe. Thank you, Shrinjai, for getting us all those details. The, uh, the shooter has also been now the suspect who tried to, in fact, open fire, uh, has also been now identified. It's time now for us to take a short commercial break. We'll be back with more news and updates.